Welcome to my tutorial for Iron Tank for the NES. This game reminds me a lot of Jackal for the NES, but um, Jackal is definitely the better game. But this is pretty decent. Definitely not a bad game. It's pretty good. The controls take some getting used to. I find the aiming to be pretty sluggish, so um, you know I don't always rotate the turret to take my shots because it's a little bit uh, sluggish to try to orient your aim. But yeah, I have some good strategies for this game, especially later on, that I haven't seen used in other videos, so I thought this would be worth covering. What I did for this video was I left in the first death um, in every new area. So whenever I get to a new checkpoint, I show that first death in that, in that new checkpoint, but then I edit out all the other deaths and only show the uh, successful attempt after that. So it starts off with the first death. If I did die in an area, you'll see that first death. And then after that, the next uh, footage that will be shown will be me completing that checkpoint. Because this game took around 4 hours and 31 minutes to beat, so I thought that was the best way to edit it. I didn't want to edit it to where things just pop in and out of the scenery, you know, where enemies just disappear because I edited out deaths mid-gameplay, which I used to do in the past with some videos. But I found that doesn't really uh, show the game properly, and it's a little bit awkward to understand what's going on with that type of editing. So... Even though it makes the video a little bit longer, I'm you know mostly showing the first death of each new area. Now I did cut out one of the um, deaths on one of the longer boss fights because it was too drawn out. It did, there was no need for me to show the same boss fight twice. So you see here, I first got to this boss and died. And also keep in mind, you can check out my other version of this playthrough, which has the deaths edited out in the same type of way, pretty much, except for that one boss that's really drawn out that I mentioned. That's left in, but... The difference is that it shows my actual um, ending run on the final boss is what actually happened in my legit run. In this tutorial, I'm showing my best gameplay from practice of the final boss section. But other than that, this uh, footage is, is almost identical to the other video that I have up. But that one has no commentary, just game music. For this part, I like to stay off to the, the right a little bit and try to take shots at this tank. But I really didn't have a good strategy for it. I kind of just went in aggressively. I didn't even know how the weapon, you know, the weapon system worked at this point. So I was using just regular shots, I believe. I didn't even know that you could select, you know, more powerful ammo and stuff like that. So I'm going to explain that a little bit later when I actually start using it. Because it will be easier to explain when, I'm at, when you can actually see what I'm doing on screen. See, I picked up that V. That's a specific type of ammo for... A weapon that goes under the name V. I'm not sure what they all stand for, but the V is a decent shot for, you know, doing like, I, basically, no, the V is actually like a machine gun type of weapon. It's a lot faster than you get even with a rapid fire controller. Rapid fire controller doesn't really help in this game. It makes your shot, your cannon shot will be slightly faster, but it's almost unnoticeable. And see, that's a mine. Don't touch that. That's the first time I encountered that in the game, so I didn't know what exactly it was. I thought it was a mine, but I tested it. But yeah, the V-Shot is good. It's like a machine gun, and it has limited ammo. See, it shows all your ammo types, and it has bars next to it on the right side. That's how much ammo you have. So collect those ammo power-ups. It stays with you even if you die. You keep all the ammo you collected. So that's important to know. The B is a bomb type of shot, which is very powerful and has a pretty wide radius when it explodes. But... um. You don't want to use it a lot in the game because you don't you don't get those as frequently as some of the other pickups. E is for energy. That gives you some health back. And to rotate your turret, you have to hold down B, and then you press the direction on the direction pad. It'll rotate the turret, but it's kind of slow to rotate, and you can't really take quick shots like that. It's kind of, you know, it, does, it kind of sets itself up to be a slower-paced kind of game where you're supposed to take things slower, but the enemies don't do that, so... I had to pull some bullshit to get through some parts, and I, I did some um, aggressive techniques that I haven't really seen used. So I think if I break down some of those techniques that I used, I think it may be useful for those who are having trouble trying to do it the slow way. For this part, really rescuing these people is worthless. As far as I could tell, I, I did it at first because I didn't know. It gives you some information about taking the middle path. 
But I didn't like the middle path because I found out the middle path had a train boss, which I, you know, didn't really want to deal with. Probably because I didn't know about switching the ammo types. So I was using regular bullets on it. It was very hard like that. And I didn't really know how to position myself. So I ended up just taking the uh, the left path, I believe. So that's what I would recommend doing. But you can also try the middle path and see if you want to do that. Of course, this um, this guide is going to be for the path that I took. Since I don't know what's on the other path. See that R I just picked up? That's a reserve tank. You actually, if you equip, you have to equip it like you would a weapon. You have to. There's these little check marks you have to check in the menu. You press select to open that menu, and then you gotta like you gotta make a little check. I'm um, in in the little circle. You gotta fill it, and you'll. That means it's engaged. So if the reserve tank is is equipped, um, when you lose your health bar, you'll get another one immediately. It'll waste the reserve, but I never had a problem with that because the reserve always seemed to come back when I was at a new checkpoint. So um, I recommend using them when you have them. I didn't see a problem with using them because it's not like you have to wait to get another one because I always had them. I think they fill up when you pick up regular pickups or I don't know how exactly how they how they refill. But I just know that I pretty much always had one, so it wasn't a big problem if I wasted it. But I played a lot of the game. The reason the game probably took me a lot longer than it should have is because I didn't know about the reserve tank. So I played, you know, over an hour into the game without knowing that. So I was working on one life bar, and I wasn't even using the, um, I wasn't using the special weapons that you're supposed to use to fight the enemies. So I made the game way harder initially. I probably would have beaten it, you know, faster if I had I known more things about the game. So that should save you some time because, you know, if you're playing this on emulation, you're not going to have the instruction manual. So it should save some time just ha just having a basic understanding of how the game works. Now I used a rapid fire controller, but I didn't use ra I didn't use rapid fire on the um, on the machine gun because it didn't seem to do anything for the machine gun. In fact, I don't even use the machine gun really because I find it to be worthless unless you want to shoot regular enemy like human enemies. But usually I just run those over. But aside from that, I found the machine gun to be worthless. I don't think it even damages regular like tank enemies. I think it's pretty much useless. So I ended up not using it later on. At this point, I'm still learning the game, you know. But uh, for the for these parts, you obviously don't want to do that because that'll kill you. You don't want to go in those electric electric fields. But all you have to do is just wait for the electricity to go away and then just drive through. And of course, make sure that your tanks are not in the way. I didn't really bother fighting all the tanks. I just you know tried to drive through. I usually try to avoid enemies when I can and not fight. I like to play that way. Um, you know, that's the way I prefer to play. But yeah, um, here you can get some energy. I mean, this part's really not hard. You just have to wait for these things to disappear and then you can pretty much just drive away. Just try to avoid the enemies. I wouldn't waste time trying to fight everything. If you want some extra health, you can run over or shoot the um, the soldier enemies, the human enemies. Whenever you kill them, you get a little bit of health back. So it can be helpful. You also get some health back for collecting the ammo types. Even if you have full ammo of, say, the V or the F, the B, um, and the L, you can um, get some health back by collecting it. So it's always worth collecting if you need some health. It's a small amount, but it adds up. Since some checkpoints can be pretty long. So yeah, I can explain a little bit more about the shots. The L is a long distance shot. You may want to use that if you want to stay out of reach of an enemy's bullet and hit it from far away. Then you may want to use the L. Um, that's one of the uses for it. It's probably also more powerful than your regular uh, your regular shot with no ammo equipped. You know, So it's, it's probably worth using for certain situations. But... The V is like a machine gun. I find that useful even on bosses. I think that's a pretty good shot. Um, B is your bomb. And F is like a fire shot. Which, um, it seems to do pretty good damage. But I, I can't really tell if it's much more powerful than the bomb or some of the other ones. But what I end up doing later in the game is, if you check mark all the ammos, you'll fire all the ammo at once, I believe, and it does massive damage. That's something I didn't know either. So I'm going to explain that later with some of the bosses. You can kill them a lot faster by doing that. Now the problem with that is that if you exhaust all your ammo and then you die on the boss, you're going to start back at the last checkpoint without all that ammo if you wasted it all. So 
If there's nowhere to pick up um, ammo pickups, then you're not going to be able to replenish it, and you're going to have to fight the boss with more basic shit. Usually there's a few ammo pickups before a boss, though, so I didn't really have much of an issue with that. I don't remember that ever happening to me where I got to a boss with, uh, with just basic ammo. This part's tricky with all these enemies and planes and things like this. You see, I die here. But now I'll show you know, the, the successful attempt. This is one of the harder checkpoints. The hardest checkpoint is the, the um, final checkpoint in the game before the final bosses. Which um, is going to be pretty much the main reason for even making the guide. That's the hardest part. And I do have a strategy for that. A very specific strategy. But um, if you're really having trouble with it, you may want to learn my strategy that I ended up using. It does involve luck, though, too. But if you just keep grinding it out, eventually you should be able to break through. And you won't have to uh, keep pausing the game and going through the menus very slowly and, and trying to, like, creep your way up through the area. So, yeah, it's always dangerous taking shots at these enemies head-on. Like, it's better to use diagonal shots to hit the tanks, which I learned later, because if you try to shoot them with your turret straight, a lot of times they'll hit you, too. So it's hard to just get it... You know, try to line up your turret with them straight and then shoot them head on. A lot of times you do get hit doing that. So, if you can do diagonal shots when possible, it's good to do that. So, I think I made it a little bit farther this time. Some of the checkpoints look very, very similar. So, it was difficult to edit. But see, I got that reserve tank, so I equipped that. And then if my health bar goes down, I think this might be where I finally learned about using the reserve tank. That's probably why I've been dying, too. I didn't even know about that for a while. Here I actually use the reserve tank to run over that mine and take a shortcut, which I do kind of recommend doing because this is a much easier path from what I remember. See, there's no enemies here. So um, I, I actually do recommend using a reserve to run over that mine and just pass through here because you'll get another reserve anyway. You'll get another reserve tank, so it's not really a big deal. So use that. Take this little shortcut. It's pretty useful. Yeah, the reserve tanks usually seem to come back, like I said, so you don't really have to try to save them. At first, I was trying to save them. I didn't realize um, how it worked. I still don't really understand how they refill, but I just know that I always had them pretty much, so um, I didn't really have to worry about that. Now here I just bypass the enemies and drive past them pretty much. I don't deal with them directly. And for this boss, I actually edited out a, a, my, my failed attempt on this boss because, you know, it took several minutes. It was very tedious. And I was just going to do the same thing again when I uh, did my successful attempt on the boss. So I didn't need to show that first death. I thought that would be a little excessive for a tutorial, not really needed to be shown. But I do show it in, in the other run that I have posted up, which, you know, shows every first death on every checkpoint and edits out the rest. So, yeah, for this part, you don't even need to be, you know, probably doing all the shit that I'm doing here. You can probably angle your shot and, and shoot those turrets diagonally. I don't think you need to drive under them and, and shoot up at them. Though I'm not 100% sure because I don't remember exactly if I tried that back, back at this stage. I'm assuming I tried shooting them diagonally with the regular shot and it didn't, it didn't hit from what I remember. But there is a way around that. You could just use a few long distance shots and then you can fire your shots diagonally and it will reach the, the turret most likely. So different types of ammo can be more effective for different ranges. Like the long range will hit some things that are out of reach with your regular uh, cannon bullet. For this part, you want to try to stay between the two cannons and, you know, shoot in between them as much as you can so that you don't get hit by the missiles. I didn't practice this one too much, but, I mean, that was the main idea. I just tried to stay in the middle the best I could. The tank does move slow. That's one of the things that makes this game difficult at times. You do have unlimited continues in this game. I recommend not using the password system because if you put in a password... It starts you back with no items, no reserve tanks, no items. At the you know, it'll probably start you back at the last checkpoint you got to, but you won't have any um, you won't have any of your power ups. You have to collect all that shit again. So I don't really recommend using the password system unless you're playing on an actual system. Then you don't really have a choice if you're going to shut it off. 
I use save states on an emulator so I could go back to this at any time. This is a hard checkpoint. First, you're going to see how I died here. Now, notice all the pickups in the beginning of this section. What you can do here is keep grabbing the pickups and committing suicide until you filled up your, uh, your special bomb meter, which is the question mark meter in the menu. And you want to fill up, you know, your other ammo types that are available there. I think it's a, a V and, and maybe some other shit. You want to fill those all up as much as you can. So what I did here, see, see my, my, my V and my L are both full. That's because I farmed both of those. Um, and I farmed my special weapon. I farmed it by committing suicide, grabbing them, committing suicide again, grabbing them again, until all my bars were full. So you just you make a run here and grab all this shit, then just die. And you'll, you'll eventually fill it up. Now to save time, I actually made a save state with those specific weapons filled up since I get them in the area anyway. And it's just a waste of time for me to drive around and do that a bunch of times. Every time I fail this area, I would have to do it again. So it was just a time saver. It's, it's like if there's no risk for me to farm something, I will use safe state sometimes to bypass it just to save time because there's no, there's no risk to it. You, you can't fuck it up. So yeah, once you have all this stuff, what I'm going to be recommending to do is to use your special weapon, your bomb, your special bomb. It's the question mark. Equip it and then fire it. It's your cannon button. Fire it, destroy that first boat. Then grab the question mark, the, the first one that's available. And then blow up the second one, grab the next question mark. By doing this, you're keeping your question mark bar full because you're budgeting them. You're not wasting more than you have. So you use one and then you're immediately grabbing one that happens to be in the area anyway. So you're pretty much getting two free bombs by doing that. So what I recommend doing is using the, the bombs in the order you see me using and in the areas that you see me using the bombs. That's the main thing to learn on this checkpoint. See, I use the bomb here with these two boats and take out both boats. And that's one of the hardest parts of this section. I think that's basically where this section ends. But it's tricky. Because the boats can really fuck you up. So I recommend using all bombs on the boats. And you want, that's why I say have a full bomb meter when you go into this fight. Make sure you have it all filled up. Because you're going to want to use your bombs you know, in a budgeted way. You're going to want to use them at specific points as you pick up the new bombs, which are the question mark pickups. So you want to have it all set up like that, and you can just bomb your way through that entire area. You don't need to fight the boats directly if you do that. It makes it very easy. But if you don't do it the specific way I lined out, you're going to end up not having a bomb on one of the boat sections, and then you'll, you'll get destroyed very easily. So you want to do it just as I did it. So for that, you may want to rewind the video. Just check carefully if you're having trouble trying to budget those, those bombs. But it wasn't too hard to figure out. This boss is extremely easy. You can use some of your special ammo if you want. The long distance is good because it fires, you know, up pretty far. You may actually need it to hit those. Unless you want to go drive all the way up to the edge of the, the uh, where the water is, but I wouldn't do that. What you want to do here is just hang out um, by this shack. Use it as a, as a little barrier so you don't get shot. And then all you do is you let them drive past the shack and then you just peek out. And let them come back to you. And then just shoot the first gun that appears when it peeps out. You know, shoot it immediately. And then just retreat back to the shack. That's all you're going to have to do. It doesn't really get any easier than that for a boss fight. You're basically just waiting for them to peep out of that little um, side of the shack. And just take your shot. And don't, you know, don't wait to see if your shot connects. Just fire and, and move immediately and you won't get hit. And you're going to want to use that long distance shot for this part. Yeah, this game is definitely more sluggish and slower paced than Jackal. Which is one of my favorite games on the NES. But um, it's still, it's a good solid game. But it can be kind of bullshitty at times. You know, it seems like there's a lot of bullshit thrown at you for such a slow tank with, um, you know, bad aiming control. So the game definitely has some issues. There's a lot of repetition with the same types of enemy types. There's not really a lot of variety in the bosses. But it's a good game. I liked uh, POW a lot by SNK, so I wanted to check this out. POW is one of my favorites. And, of course, they make some of the best fighting games, which I have uh, playthroughs of most of those posted up on the channel as well as you know the ports on various consoles and all that I covered a lot of fighting games so 
So yeah, this is very easy. It's just a slow fight, but it's extremely easy. So yeah, after this part, I believe there's a little bit of a a bombing run where the screen gets bombed constantly, but it's it's actually I think it's kind of helpful to you. It doesn't hurt you. You can also use this area to farm some power ups. So you can drive through here and grab the um, the power ups. I think there's some power ups in here. Everything looks the same in this game, so it's hard to remember this is where the uh, the bombs were, but. There's also calls that you receive. I never picked up a single call, so I'm not sure what they actually, what the purpose of that is. Probably just to waste your time. So yeah, let's see what's over here. I'll, I'll see if there's um, if this is the area where the uh, where the bombs are. It might be a little bit later. I'm not sure because, like I said, a lot of areas look the same. And I didn't re I didn't watch my playthrough again after beating the game. So yeah, no, this is not the bombing area. This is where the planes come in and bomb shit. But this is not the the area I was thinking of. So yeah, you can just grab the energy and the and the F and all that other power up shit and just go to the, go back to the left side and drive along the left edge. The left edge doesn't get bombed from what I remember. So if you need the energy, grab it. And this part coming up is very easy if you do it the way I did it. I mean, they bomb a little bit towards the edge, but not 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 all the way to the extreme edge, really. So yeah, pick up whatever power ups you need, but just ignore the rest if you don't need them. You mainly just want to keep driving up along that edge and just keep moving fast, just to get you know to to move through. You can kind of zigzag through here if you want. So once you um you got to go inside this little building here, blow it up. And now once you get in here, all you got to do here is just keep driving straight up and then just use one of your special ammo types. Um, which one do I use here? Let's see. I use the, um, I think I use the V. Yeah, the V. So that's like your machine gun. So you use the V, but don't use it on, on any of this shit. Just keep driving straight up. You don't have to attack anything. Just keep driving straight up. And when you get to the boss, that's when you're going to unload your V ammo and just kill it really fast. See, it's dead. That's it. Gone. So... All you got to do is get in the middle of the boss between the two guns of the boss and just blow it up with DV. I'm also using a rapid fire controller, so it makes the shots a little bit faster with the special weapon, so that may help, but if not, just rapidly, you know, or actually you can just hold the button down. The game has its own auto fire as well, where you don't have to mash the button, but when I used turbo, it was slightly faster with the, with the power weapons, you know, very, very slight. So it's almost useless in this game. And you definitely don't want turbo set to your to your B button because that's what you use. You hold that down to move your turret around. So if you set that to auto, you're not going to be able to rotate your turret properly. So if you're going to use it, don't don't set it to that button. So yeah, there's a checkpoint here. I show where I died, but after you beat those planes, there is a checkpoint right here. So um, now you can just continue moving up in the same way. This is pretty much the exact same shit. It's just a long stretch. You just stay on the left side, basically, and you don't have to worry about much of anything. Again, I'm ignoring these fucking phone calls because, you know, I mean, why am I going to pick up a fucking cell phone in the middle of a battlefield? So, yeah. Um, now, now, I mean, this part, I think this was the next checkpoint, if I remember right. I have a reserve fuel tank. I think I use it here. So yeah, blow down these doors. Whenever you see these doors, those are the areas you got to break. You'll see they have a distinct little graphical style, so when you see those, just break them. But I think I got to the checkpoint here, so... This is not a hard area, but soon is you know soon the the final um, checkpoint of the game is going to be coming up soon, and that's the hardest part of the game. It's an extremely difficult part. I'm going to try to explain exactly what I did for that part. It's going to be exact. It's very very specific. So, you you know for that part you you want to do exactly as I do for that part. And if you if you if you follow it, you will break through eventually. It will take a lot of tries still because it still involves a lot of luck in the first part.
But eventually you will break through. So if you're having trouble doing it the slow, careful way, you might want to sit there for an hour and just grind out my method. I don't know if it'll take you an hour because once I found the method, it still took me a little while. That part took me about an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes, something like that. But I'll, 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 um, I'll explain when I get to that part. Since I don't know how to pause these videos and commentate over shit, um, you know, I have to do the commentary in the moment and sometimes I don't have enough time to say everything. It has happened a lot of times on some of the more difficult parts. So I'm probably going to be talking pretty fast when I get to that part, trying to keep up with everything. So that's why I'm covering, you know, a few of the details now so that I don't have to say as much when I explain it. Because there's not much to say here. This is extremely easy. So, you know, kind of using this time to preempt what's coming up, which is definitely the hardest part. Again, more bullshit. I think this is the bombing run that I was talking about. Yeah, this is the area where you can grab as many power-ups as you want and fill up all your power-up bars and commit suicide. I recommend keeping all your weapons full because there's going to be some very hard shit coming up. So if you don't have your, 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 your weapons filled up, you know, commit suicide and farm weapons for a while since they do carry over after your deaths. As I mentioned, I did use safe states a lot of times to, to um, once I had my shit full in an area and I farmed it up, I would save state so I didn't have to farm again. Just a time saver. So if you're on an emulator, I, I feel like it's completely legit to uh, to play it that way. But that's up to you. I never use uh, save or load states to cheat or anything like that. Only for practice and to, to get past loading times and certain types of farming that, that have no risk. Yeah, so now, what better would be, you know, it'd be better to use like the long range shot probably than what I did there. That was not a good strategy. I should have kept a little bit more distance. This was sloppy. It's best to try to drive under them when the shots actually stop firing, I believe, and then shoot up at them. But I did it so badly here that um, I don't really have a good strategy. I, I think I think those guns shoot a stream of bullets that has little stops in it where you have a moment to get in and take a shot. I think there's a break in the bullet lines at some point. But I don't remember if those ones do it. Most turrets do that in the game. Can't remember if those specific ones did it, because I played that very sloppily. But it's not hard. I mean, you should be able to get past that. Just make sure you keep you know your main weapons full. You want to have your weapons filled because now you're going to be fighting a real boss. I mean, that was a you know not much of a boss fight. It was a boss fight, but it was pretty minor. Now you have to fight an actual you know large tank, which can be tricky. This is another area where you want to like farm up your your ammo that's available in this area. I think it's just V. But you want to farm up and have full, make sure you have full V ammo, which is your machine gun type uh, of ammo. Because you're going to be using that machine gun on the boss. And of course you want your reserve tank to be equipped so that if you lose a life bar, you have another one. Remember that when fighting the boss, you do not want to get run over by the tank. I think that's usually an instant death, no matter if you have a reserve bar or not. So this part is very easy. You can move very specifically once you have the, the rhythm down. You may take a few hits, but it's not really a problem. The last tank you can completely skip. You can just drive around it like you see me doing here. Make sure you have your V full. You want full V ammo, so make sure you farmed it up. And equip it. Equip your reserve tank and drive around that tank and just exit it, you know, enter in here. Now just tilt your, your turret to the right diagonal side and just go along this left edge. And, you know, move up and down slightly and just fire at it with the V ammo, you know, rapidly if possible. And you should be able to take it out. This was close, but, you know, I have done it where I barely got hit. There is a gap between those missiles if you stay on the left side where you can do it and, and, and basically not get hit. I don't know if it works every time because I didn't practice it enough, but that strategy works even if you're taking damage. You should be able to just kind of, you know, muscle your way through it either way. It's not a hard boss fight. The final stretch of the game is not hard either with the strategies that I used. But it's definitely harder than that. Because the last boss is three forms. But you can do a similar strategy if you plan it out. Okay, so this may actually be where the bombs drop. Like I said, everything looks so fucking similar. A lot of times I don't, you know, I don't know where, where certain parts are. I can't tell by looking at it. Even though I just beat the game a few days ago. Well, either way, um, you can grab tons of ammo here. Yeah, see, this is where the bombs drop. But it doesn't matter if you die here, because you can just grab a ton of fucking ammo 
and commit suicide. Make sure you fill up all your ammo here before you get before you move beyond this checkpoint. It is tedious to refill your ammo and farm, but you want to do it because um, you don't want to be caught in some of these next areas without full ammo because there's certain types of ammo that you are not going to be able to pick up in certain areas sometimes. So it's better just to fill it up when it's easy to fill it up. Otherwise, you're going to have to drive farther to get certain ammo types if they are available, and it's going to be a lot more tedious to get those ammo filled up and, and committing suicide and, and refilling. So... I think here this is what I was doing. I think I fast forward here on the emulator because all I was doing was trying to, I'm trying to commit suicide here because I just wanted to fill my ammo up. I think what I was doing is going back to even get more ammo. I wanted to do one more ammo run, I think. But um, what ended up happening is I, I was too far in the area and I was already at the next checkpoint. So there was no purpose for me to really do that. But that's what I did. Yeah, so now coming up, I think it's going to be very... Yeah, it's, gonna, it's very soon now. This is the hardest checkpoint in the game. You're going to see me first die first in this area. Now, I'll show where it is. This is where it starts, above these tracks here. Once you get on these tracks, this is the hardest checkpoint in the game. So, you can try to play it slow and take out all the tanks, but the problem is that tanks spawn behind you, enemies spawn on the sides of you, and there's these turrets on the towers that are very, very hard to reach. And you got shit coming down the tracks running you over. But these things on the turrets, these turrets up on the towers are very, very hard to shoot with your, with your guns. You can shoot them diagonally, but by the time you get up there, you're usually going to get shot by something else. Very, very fucking hard to work through this area slowly. So what I ended up doing was a very difficult but, but very aggressive maneuver, which is what I'm usually good at doing. What I do is drive straight up. I equip my V ammo, and I only fire it in burst when I see a spawn appear, an enemy spawn appear. And I'm driving straight up the whole time. Just keep driving straight up. Don't stop. Now, the rest of this is very, very specific, so keep this all in mind. When I get up to this, um, I kill that tank. Then I make a left turn here into this corner. Now, as I'm in that corner, I go to my menu. I select my um, all my ammo types at once for extra power. Make a right turn here, shoot up at this, and kill this boss immediately. That's a boss, and it's dead. So now what I do is um, I shoot diagonal shots at these tanks to take them out, which is pretty self-explanatory. You have to be in that left corner that I mentioned, though, or you will get annihilated by that train when it shows up initially. So you have to do everything like the way I'm doing it. Turn your turret to the right side. Drive straight up. Hit this wall here at the top. Fire your turret. Take that tank out on the right. Go through the gap. And now hit this wall and just drive straight up the wall, and, and you're going to die. Don't worry about that. You want to die in this area because that's how you get to the, the final checkpoint of the game. It's really, it's not even a checkpoint. It's really, it's the final area of the game. Now there's no more checkpoints. It's just the final boss area. So, very specific strategy, but hopefully that helped you. It's not the easiest thing to pull off, and it involves a lot of luck in that first part because you can really get gunned down while you're driving straight through everything. So you just got to keep grinding out that maneuver. Just keep doing it. Eventually it will get through if you do it as I show. Exactly as I show. Now here I figured out that there's a pixel perfect way to maneuver through these mines. See, like this. Now in my actual run, I wasn't able to pull this off. It is very specific, but you can learn it. But there's another way through those mines. You can use one of your reserve tanks and waste it and just drive through one of the mines and let it blow up on you, destroying your reserve tank and leaving just a full bar of health. And then you can drive through. So you got two ways you can cut through there. I recommend using either way because you do not want to take the right path. If you take the right path, there's a ton of enemies, and it's extremely difficult. So don't, you know, do that skip that I show you. You know, I recommend that. For these guns, I'm doing this very quick, but there's a way to position yourself where you can shoot diagonal and take these guns out. you got to use your bombs for, this, for these ones. For these, these ones in this part of the tower, your bombs can only hit it because you don't have enough range. So you need the, the range of the bomb. You'll know it's hitting when you hear the sound of it connecting. But for the ones by the door, you can use your regular shots. You don't need a special weapon to take those out. So now you're at the final boss, but that first part's very easy if you watch what I did there with the positioning. I didn't take any damage. So now what you're going to do is just equip your V weapon for this first form. Or actually, just the bomb. Yeah, you're just going to use your bomb. Just one, one weapon equipped, and that's the bomb. Stay on the right side of the screen. Try to move down so you don't get run over. It can be dangerous if you get run over, but you can take that first form out very fast with just bombs. Right side of the screen with your turret on the up, uh, you know, upper left diagonal angle. Now you just got to equip all your weapons at once for the next two forms. You'll take them down very fast. Stay on this right side of the screen. 
and just unload your shit in the same turret angle. You want to keep your turret angle the same way. See, second form is gone. Now this is the final form. Just keep your distance, keep firing, and stay on that edge. And if he gets too close, if you don't kill him fast enough, you may have to move and cross over his turret and go on the other side of him and then angle your turret to the right diagonal side to start shooting at him again. You do not want to ever be directly in front of the guy. So if you pass by him, you're probably going to take some damage. You don't, You want to avoid that. And that's basically it. I totally edited out the ending because there's no need for that in a fucking tutorial. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you, do, if you do, um, don't want to go through those mines that I show, you're going to have a much harder fight with a lot of turrets on the right side. But on the right side, there is some ammo pickups. If you're lacking in some of your ammunition, you can farm some ammo there and commit suicide. But aside from that, I recommend taking that left path and going through the mines. Either do the pixel perfect method or, you know, use a reserve tank and just waste up a reserve tank. Because a full, a full bar of health is plenty to beat the, uh, the first part of the building with the turrets, which is very, very easy. If you position yourself right, you won't get damaged. And then uh, for, the, for the boss, the boss, you know, you may get hit a few times, but it's very easy if you stay on the right side and use, you know, use the same ammo that I show. That, that, it kills those bosses in the right amount of time. So I recommend doing it as I showed. Like, remember, keep in mind that equipping multiple ammo types at the same time seems to do... Um, you know, like four times the damage because I think it shoots all the ammo types out at once. The the the, uh, the drawback to that, it does waste all your ammo up at the same time. But for certain parts, it's very worth doing because it kills shit fast if you know what you're doing. So keep all that in mind. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.